Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to this Ramadan series, As Sirat al Mustaqim. After you have seen the signs of Allah around you and inside you, what is your reaction to that? When you realize that Allah created the universe for you and created you for Him. When you realize that everything around you is there to serve you. When you realize the endless amount of blessings upon yourself in every possible way, whether you realize it and recognize it or you don't even realize the blessing. When you see that you have been dipped and Allah has spoiled you with His blessings and you've been dipped in His blessings, when you realize that you have been favored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have been honored and you are the only one around who has this high level of consciousness that you understand your existence you understand the existence of the universe and you understand the existence of Allah Himself. That your heart can host the greatest thing in the universe, which is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is our second stop on this journey, the love of Allah. This love is not born out of nothing. It's born out of a deep realization and a deep recognition to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for you and has already done for you without ever asking you to do something as a prerequisite. You were born in this world, your mom and dad was there, your, 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 the universe was there, everything was there. And when Allah gave you, He gave you before He ever asked you to worship Him, to, to pray for Him, to, to recognize Him, He already gave you abundantly, unconditionally. My dear brothers and sisters, we have come to a time where the word love, which is supposed to describe the holiest feeling and thing that a human can give to anyone else, to this word being used to describe the physical pleasure that happens between a man and a woman. What has happened to the word love? We want to bring the word love back to its highest place. I still remember the love of a Palestinian sister in the state of California for her autistic kid who was not covered by insurance. She fought the state of California and she changed the entire law of the state to cover autism as even if it's a prerequisite, even if it is a pre-existing condition. This sister was in her house with her children and a fire caught the house. She ran out, then she ran back in to her autistic kid, hugged him so hard tried to get him out of the fire, and they found them like that, both dead. It is one of the most impactful stories that I ever came across in my life, especially that I knew the mom and her son. This love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not a mere emotions, but it is something that turns into action. This is what we call the actions of the hearts. Do you actually love Allah for himself in spite of what he has given you? or what he will reward you, even though he has given you so much more than you can thank him for. And he will reward you so much more than you can imagine. But do you love Allah for who he is after you saw his signs in his universe and in yourself? Loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala translates into action. You start loving what Allah loves. So if Allah loves his houses, the masajid, and he loves to see you there, you go there and you hang there. You start loving whosoever loves Allah. So you love the believers. You call them your brothers and sisters in faith. And the Prophet ﷺ told us, there are people on the day of judgment. They're not prophets or messengers. They're not martyrs. They're not from the highest level, Siddiqeen. But the prophets and messengers and the martyrs and the highest believers envy them on the day of judgment. They sit on seats made out of light. They said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who loved one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This love, you will be immensely rewarded for it. This love creates a personal relationship between you and Allah. I always ask people, if I saw you in the market with your mom and with your brothers and sisters, and I asked you, uh, who's that older lady with you? you will always answer, oh, she's my mom. No one ever answered me in my life that 
they will say, she's our mom. Even though you have so many brothers and sisters, you will only refer to your mom as my mom. Allah is the Lord of the universe, the God of everyone. But is he your God? Do you have that personal touch? This is the importance of love. You know, people who are in love, they lose their appetite. They lose their sleep. They lose their focus. They only think about the one who they love. And they always talk about the one who they love. Do you know that's exactly what happens to us in Ramadan? We lose our appetite, we don't eat. We lose our sleep, we pray all night. We talk only about Allah, we read his book, and we're always thinking about him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why fasting and praying in Ramadan is a practical translation of our love to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the real world. May Allah accept from all of us, and may Allah love us, as he said in the Quran, يُحِبُّهُمْ وَيُحِبُّونَهُ He loves them, the believers, and they love him. It's a two-way relationship. And it's the most beautiful thing in this deen. If you take it out of Islam, Islam will become very dry. If you put it in, it will bring back life and energy to you and that your family and the entire Muslim world. Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen.